All right, there are five things you should never, ever do with your wedges. And we're gonna go over them right now. First, see if we can hit the fairway. Okay, the first thing never, ever to do with your wedges is this. What we don't ever wanna do is hit down on the ball. I, now, I know it seems a little, uh, goes against the grain because you want to take a divot. You want to come down into the turf. But look at this. Here's a five iron, obviously, and here's my wedge. It is so much shorter. So here's where I would be with a five iron. With my wedge, I'm way in here. So I'm all so close to the ball, I have a much more upright swing. So the club is coming down. If I add down to it, I'm going to hit, chunk the ball. I'm going to take this giant divot. We don't want to necessarily hit down. We're gonna hit down, but don't consciously think that. That's the, one of the biggest mistakes we're making with our wedges. Really try to take a more shallow approach to it, but you being closer to it is gonna add the verticalness to the shot, which is gonna let you hit down without thinking hitting down. See, when you hit your wedges right, you can start off with birdies, not bogeys. But you, you just gotta know what not to do to make these giant, huge mistakes that make you chunk it, fat it, do a bunch of things. And there's more. Huge mistake numero dos is this that I see is, I have 94 yards left to this par four. What I see a lot is, when people are taking their wedges, they, what they do is they back that ball up way back here because they, they want more spin or they want to make sure they get the ball first. Backing the ball up with your wedges is causing you to come more down on the ball. Plus, it's, it will create more backspin. You'll get these, your misses will be more dramatic. It's just a very inconsistent way to approach your wedges. Do not do that if you want to get these shots close to the hole. And in case you're wondering, out here at the Barnsley Resort, North Georgia, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Just a phenomenal property, cabins, they got all kinds of activities to do. Oh. <laughs> Golf course is spectacular. So I'll leave a link below, check it out, get over here. All right, 131 yard par three. Here's the next thing you never want to do with your wedges, okay? A lot of times people are trying to swing inside out. Inside out, okay? It's a lot easier to swing inside out with your wedges, okay? It's just a shorter club to manipulate, so that's easier. Now, I don't want you to consciously think inside out with your wedge. Here's the reason why. Because as you come into the ball, if you're a little inside and you rotate that face just a little too much, which is easier to do with the shorter clubs is turn that face down. Then that face is going to be way left and you're going swing path is way right. You're going to miss left with a draw. We don't want that. So here's the swing feeling you want for that. Okay. You're probably going to come a little inside out, but if you keep those hands going like this in that inside out motion, that's what's going to happen. You're going to flip that face down. So I want you, down in here and then i want your hands to feel like they're pulling towards your left pocket okay so you're down in here and you're just turning yourself around your left pocket it may be an inside out swing for you okay but you're not going to flip that face through the the impact all right so just let it let it do its thing and feel like I even hate saying pulling because you might pull early and that's gonna be bad. So you really wanna rotate those hands towards your left pocket and that's gonna allow you to engage the bounce of the club in a lot more than that leading edge which gives you a ton more forgiveness. So if we do it right and don't do what we shouldn't do, 
just rotate to that left side, all should be pretty good here. All right, now let's look at my divot and see what happened. Now, if I was trying to come inside, I, it's so much easier to hit behind the ball. Okay, but I hit, here's my tee, and the divot is moving a little bit left, and I played a little cutter into that pin, which is exactly what we want. Oh. Still a couple more things we cannot do with our wedges, you know, if we want to play well. All right, the next thing you cannot do with your wedge is this, and I see a lot of people do it for some strange reason, is they start closing their club face a little bit for various reasons. They think, okay, it's a wedge, I could shut the face down, get a little more distance. Uh, they do that after they back the ball up, they start closing the face, they push their hands forward, which shuts the face. All of this you should never ever do. In fact, you should actually with your wedge, slightly open the face. You wanna get up here and you wanna open that face just a touch because it's gonna help engage the bounce, give you a lot more forgiveness with your life, which we want because we want these to be on the green every single time. Go in. All right, last thing you should never ever do when you're hitting your wedges is this. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate here, okay? Got my 50 degree gap wedge, perfect number. I'm just gonna hit it hard because I, I just gotta hit it hard to get there. So I'm gonna go hard gap wedge as opposed to a nice smooth pitching wedge. Because they say, you know, you always hear, it's like better to take less club and be aggressive. That's what you want, right? I think you know where I'm going with this. Ugh. Well, I was pretty aggressive, swung as hard as I could. I mean, it's pin high, it's way left. Now, I could get it there with a gap wedge. I did get it there, but I'm like off the back of the green, way left. Like, there's no point in swinging hard with your wedges. It, it's not a driver. If it's a driver, man, swing away, right? Get all the ladies with your long drive, I don't care. But look, win all the money with smooth wedge shots. So instead of swinging hard and hoping for a one in 10 shot, one in a million shot, one in 20 shot, whatever it is, I'm gonna take my pitching wedge, do everything I talked about, open the face, keep in the middle of the stance, I'm not gonna hit down on it, I'm not gonna back it up, okay? And then I'm just gonna take a smooth swing, controlled swing, and uh, see if I, I can get this closer than I did on the last hole. All right, so my first one is actually over the green right here with the gap wedge. And you don't want this shot. Got to go up over a ridge. This is no good. Even though you can get there, there's really no point. Wouldn't you much rather have this 15 footer for birdie than anything else? Just because you took a smooth swing instead of a hard swing. I'm not good at reading the grain on Bermuda. So those are the five things you should never ever do with your wedges. If you wanna know more things you should never do in golf, click right over here, could save your life. Special thanks to Barnsley Resort for having me out at their beautiful course. Great place to get away, vacation, anniversary. They're, you can do everything here fantastic. So there's a link in the video description below for them. Be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next video.